I am constantly being assailed by people demanding higher benefits and I, I recognize that you know some people live in straightened circumstances uh, but you know frankly I believe you shouldn't get anything unless you work for it unless you're incapable of course we've got to take uh, care of those people who, who, who simply are uh, physically or, or mentally challenged in a way that they can't work but I think that if you are in receipt of benefits you should be working for it we should have a system of work there do what you can do and we'll compensate you. And I think that for those people who get up early in the morning, go out to work uh, and come home, it would be a great comfort if they know that those people who are not working actually have to do something for their benefit. In a post-Brexit Britain, it's now time we strengthen our ties with the Commonwealth and be the world leader we're supposed to be. Federal voters are proud of their merit, of their achievements. I happen to be gay, I didn't choose to be gay. I'm proud of it in some sense, but I don't want to be tokenised. I don't want to be put on a billboard and a poster uh, in the image you always see of the token gay or token minority group. I, along with all the other gay, lesbian or other minority groups here, want to be recognised for our achievements and our values and our work, not an identity we haven't chosen. I think the government really needs to look at the abortion bill. Um, I think it's it's really playing into this disposable culture, but we're talking about lives, and lives aren't just throwaway things. I don't think the government get that. Uh, I think people are being uh, classed as second-class citizens and sometimes being classed as in, uh, non-human at all, and really uh, it's appalling. I think so many more people in this country actually have counter-cultural views than what the government think they do um, and they really need to wake up and really take their policies from what the people want not what social media are telling them that the people want because the two are completely different. Uh, we can't afford uh, to marginalise anybody or uh, discriminate against people with disabilities because everybody has a right to life and it is imperative that we, we protect life from natural deception to natural death. I think there are some people within the Conservative Party who are intent on kowtowing to the most, uh, the most extreme wing of the environmentalist movement, treat you know, the planet as a goddess and then sort of want us all to worship it, to sacrifice our lives, you know. And we need to, we need to come back from this, we need to draw back from this, we need not to make, I think we should remove the commitment in law to be carbon neutral by 2050. The most recent government report has shown uh, that we'll all be poorer, we'll all be colder, we won't be able to drive our cars or communicate in the same way. One government report even suggested that we'd be eating bugs for protein. This is absurd and the government needs to stop it. I think the Conservative Party needs to defend women and what defines a woman, unlike the Labour Party. I do think they need to stick to lower taxes so the lower people are income um, won't have to bear higher taxes anymore. So I did vote for that. And I think we need to make sure our green policies aren't going to be costing people on lower incomes more than they can actually afford. So that's what I think the Conservative Party should be doing focusing on those issues. I think obviously one thing that the, combines the red wall vote with the concern about young people not voting Conservative uh, is, is the overwhelming lack of employment in red wall. But the key thing I think we should be doing is looking to Hungary as an inspiration for Conservatives uh, across the world, especially their cutting of income tax to zero for under 26s. I believe that um, when people are unemployed, that they should, um, to gain a bonus on their benefits and their unemployment benefits, they, they should have to take on a voluntary, um, voluntary work like litter picking or cleaning parks or um, doing extra community work, um, especially you know, and people in prisons as well. I think that people who are on day release should be litter picking because there's a lot of, especially young conservative actors and councillors and members of parliament, got litter picking themselves and it should be a way for people to get back into the community and uh, do some volunteer work uh, to help their community. And as a carer myself, um, I'm realising that there is a shortage of um, recognition of our standards of care. 
and I think um, to be more appreciated and to keep a lot of carers in the profession, the pay should be looked at basically and uh, maybe adjusted accordingly and also their qualifications to be um, more recognised and maybe hiked up a little bit also to be more in line with say nurses and professional carers. Uh, so I think um, it's, it's, it's something that could be um, ideal for to attracting other people into the care industry and uh, because really uh, I think a lot of people are with the situation with COVID, I mean, a lot of people put off working in care, me and myself, for instance, um, working in care homes. So, um, if the qualifications and the pay were much more um, practical, then I think a lot more people would um, decide to stay in, in, the, in the sector. I would say that we should incentivise those who can afford it to use private healthcare to alleviate pressure on the NHS. Look, I think cutting taxes is the most important part of being a Conservative. Obviously this government is cutting taxes, but I'd like to see them fully cut corporation taxes, reducing, not increasing. And I think the fact that we're increasing national insurance is not a good way forward. So I think we need to start moving towards a low-tax, high-wage economy. So in the light of the Sarah Everard murder, I think it's important for us to um, really try and look out for women, especially at night, um, and try and make it safer. Um, on, on, on streets. I know it's, it's, it's a difficult thing to um, tackle because it's like how do we approach it um, but I think it may be some sort of education in schools about how to treat women properly and you know at night and how to make women feel safe if you know you see a woman on her own at night that, that kind of thing um, because I think it's important that women do feel safe on our streets at night especially if you see attacks going up and things like that. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's important.